everyone welcome back i'm swati and you're watching backyard gardening today's video is highly requested video most of you wanted me to take you guys on a quick tour to my front garden or my home entrance or porch tour so today i'll be taking you on a quick tour to my home entrance which is the front garden area let's get started So this is my front garden area and the home entrance and you can say it's not very big but you can clearly make out there are no less than 100 plants in such a small place. So let's start from here, uh, from here, start from here I have flame vine plant which is a creeper I have separate video on this plant if you haven't checked it I'll share the link you can go through it. Its flowering season is almost over so I'm going to trim it all. Uh, these flowers uh, bloom from November till March. So its flowering season is almost over. So here on this hibiscus tree, I have a couple of hanging baskets and a few hanging basket plants, this turtle vine and all is growing there. Uh, these plants were in dormancy in winters. Now the season is coming back, so they'll grow green again. And along with that, I have few more flowering plants here let me show you this is king's mantle this is also growing in the ground itself in garden beautiful purple flower and uh, recently i pruned them so again they are growing with various branches and this flower blooms round the year next to it i have uh, exora its flowering season is coming now it blooms in summers and monsoon heavily this is Ixora. And the interesting thing about these flowers, they remain in plant for more than one month when they bloom. Coming to another beautiful plant, very easy to grow. If you grow this plant in a garden, it keeps on growing, it keeps on multiplying from root. So it's like if you grow one plant, within two years you'll see 20 to 30 plants nearby. So the flowers again looks beautiful this is called bud of paradise and the leaves look like banana banana leaves this is also known as heliconia okay one more thing i missed let me show you here i have uh, one papaya tree and one papaya is also there it grew on its own i didn't plant it here and along with this uh, hibiscus plant I have a white bougainvillea it was blooming heavily literally heavily I had to prune it because uh, other plants were not getting sufficient sunlight so I had to prune it here you can see very very easy to grow plant I have a separate video on bougainvillea you must check it and uh, this is another variety of Hibiscus. They also bloom round the year. All right, let's come to the porch area. Let's start from here. I have many more plants there. Some other day I'll take you on a tour to garden. So let's start from here. Here I have uh, Funbergia coquinium. I had a separate video on this. If you guys haven't checked it, I'll share the link. You can go through it and its flowering season is over so i'm going to trim it all flowers have dried up and uh, i must tell you that once these flowers bloom they remain on the plant for more than six months amazing right all right so uh let's start from this area this is coin plant very very easy to grow plant in soil as well as in water it needs more of moisture so you can easily grow them in garden but it's like mint plant the more you water it the more it grows then comes fiddle fig in a pot and i have tried growing them in um, this pot itself from one cutting also so that is clear that you can grow this plant from cutting as well It's a very good indoor plant. You can keep it in your living room or bedroom. It's an air purifier plant as well. Leaves 
look beautiful but make sure you don't grow this plant in full sunlight don't keep your pot in full sunlight otherwise leaves will get burnt it's my experience <laughs> so i'm telling you based on my experience coming to this side here i have a fern in a hanging basket it's i think uh, around 4 or 5 years old plant growing in same basket then here on a stand i have couple of plants mostly syngoniums and most of them are grown from cuttings itself let me show you how to grow this plant from cutting it's very very easy you can grow them like uh, money plants itself so all you need to do is just take a cutting with a node this is the node you need to take the cutting with node and grow them in soil or even in uh, water you can grow them then i have uh, asparagus fern and the highlight of my front garden or my porch area is this monstera plant you can see how big the leaves are right and this plant is growing in this pot it's i think 16 or 18 inch pot i would like to show you there not growing in garden still how big it has grown lovely huge leaves you can see this 2 3 days back only this leaf grew and uh, i bought this plant from uh, a resort in uh, kodaikanal i think 2 years back or 1 and 1/2 years back from a sterling resort so i got the cutting for rupees 300 which had uh, i think two or three leaves on it and you can see how beautifully it has grown i have already pruned couple of leaves which were damaged so coming to this beautiful area of my front garden so this is the landscape i created recently and i have shared the video as well on facebook and youtube both in case you haven't checked it i will share the link you can check it this is peace lily it bloomed couple of months back with big white beautiful flowers and uh, here comes uh, spider plants asparagus ferns palm plants areca palms and this this is the same bird of paradise plant heliconia as i said earlier they keep on multiplying they grow vigorously so it's like i every other month i have to cut them off prune them off still you can see how dense they have grown very easy to grow plant and uh, here i have golden money plant pothos i need to trim this as well it has grown quite big it's growing in hanging basket soon it needs to be trimmed this weekend then coming to this zebrina plant its season is also coming back again in summers and monsoon they grow nicely so in winters they look dull this plant can also be very easily grown from its cuttings simply just pinch off the cutting and grow it in any kind of soil just take the cutting this is small cutting will also do so i'll show you few more money plants this marble pothos and this green one this again same this yellow variety and this part is shurak so <laughs> many of you wanted me to remove the shurak from uh, my porch area because few of you think it doesn't look good so i have utilized this space as well <laughs> so here comes my snake plant which is growing in this shallow pot and it has no drainage and this plant is growing in this pot for i think uh, last 5 years all you need to do is just water it once in 10 days and they are good to grow i have already taken out many shoots and uh, leaves from it and i have grown in various other pots and you can see how beautifully it is growing 
Okay, then coming to this part, here I have Song of India plant. The leaves are very, very beautiful. This is also an air purifier plant. And I think most of you know that uh, snake plant is very, very good air purifier plant and highly recommended plant to be kept in bedroom. As uh, this plant emits oxygen at night, the only plant, right? Okay, then here again, I have uh, philodendron, lemon lime philodendron. This plant also loves growing in shade or partial shade or you can say uh, somewhere where it can get, you know, mild sunlight. If you will grow this plant in full sunlight, again the leaves will get burnt. So very easy to grow plant from cutting, again like many plants. So this is the main door, home entrance. Next to it again I have a big... Uh, stand and I have kept a couple of uh, pots here. This is again a variety of philodendron. This plant uh, is also easy to grow from cuttings. I have grown them from cutting and you can grow them in uh, soil as well as in water like many plants. Very easy to grow. Then I have one more uh, uh, this fawns variety. Now coming to another amazing plant which can be very easily grown in any size and shape pot. This is a spider plant. Why it's called as a spider plant? Because the plants grown look like uh, spiders, like the way they grow, they look like spiders. An interesting thing about this plant is you can easily grow this plant in separate pot. All you need to do is see this one. It has already developed roots, right? All you need to do is just take it off. See, you can easily transfer this plant to any size pot. I'll show you variety of pots this plant is growing in my front garden here. See, this size, right? And this is uh, the flower, white flower, right? And these small ones, you can see, they will turn into big plants. Then easily you can separate them. Right? So this is the beautiful, beautiful spider plant. And it's a air purifier plant. See, this is how they are developing. So I'll remove all these plants and they, they'll turn into individual plants in separate pots. So this is how you can easily multiply them. And they all are multiplied the same way. All these plants. In fact, I have gifted many of his spider plants to my friends as well. Uh, I forgot to show you this snake plant here growing in this pot. This is an 8-inch pot. And you can see how beautifully it's growing. Usually I keep this uh, pot in my bedroom. So I have two varieties in the spider plant, the one with golden lining and the one with green itself, green leaves. I have few plants there on shelf as well, here. This one is umbrella tree. It was uh, grown from a cutting. Then comes a succulent and again, snake plant and marble pothos. These are all grown from cuttings itself. There I have few more varieties, this side. Here. These are the dwarf varieties of spider, uh, snake plant. See, they grow from the roots itself, right? And you can grow this plant from uh, its leaf also, I'll show you. I have one, this one, right? If you just put the leaf in soil, this is how they develop roots and from there itself it will grow a new plant. Like this one grew the same way I separated it. Very easy to grow plant from cutting, leaf cutting as well as from root division method. There again I have few more plants in very small size pots. Now coming to this plant, this is a variety of Calathea. These plants grow 
really well in summers and monsoon in winters they go kind of dormant now here i have uh, east lily again this is the dwarf variety of peace lily the other one uh, grows with bigger size flower and this one is the smaller size flower then comes rockweed it's a very good plant to be grown in hanging baskets very easy to grow from cutting i have separate video on this plant as well i have grown this plant in many pots from cutting itself so here also so these are the plants growing in my front garden and you can see in such a small area i have been growing no less than 100 plants right so this is my front garden and the most serene corner in my house and of course you can make out right full of oxygen the moment you'll enter the house you'll feel wow i hope you like today's video if yes do let me know through comments that's all for today guys see you